Hi, welcome to the show. Hi again and welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and now the news. A new Pokemon Go, but with Jesus. Oh, I wish I was making this kind of stuff up. But no, we all know about the Pokemon Go app that was on everyone's phones two years ago. Hell, even I got on level 20. Yep. Well, now there's an app just like that, but different. It's called Follow JC Go. And JC doesn't stand for Jimmy Carr, Jeremy Clarkson, or Jackie Chan. It stands for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And just like in Pokemon Go, you have to walk around, but instead of finding Pokemons, you need to find saints, biblical figures, artifacts, and gold coins. Because if you want to go to heaven, you need that good old gold. Mm -hmm. It's made by the Vatican, developed by the evangelical group Fundación Ramon Pané. I, I hope I pronounced that right. And it's an attempt of the church to get in touch with the millennials. I installed it, but the only available languages was Spanish and Italian. Which is okay, because I'm also Latino. In order to catch saints, you need to know some biblical facts and quotes. Which is just great! Who doesn't want to play a game that requires a 1000 page manual? And what's even more funny is that when you start a game, you can choose your avatar. You can be a schoolgirl, an engineer, a nurse, a punk rocker. Yeah, <laughs> because skull hats are very popular among practicing Christians. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't find yourself in any of those, you can be a slutty woman. Holy sh**! Yep, she's just wearing a bra! So guess which avatar I chose? The engineer, because I have principles. Nah, it's the slutty woman. <laughs> oh, and it drains your battery even though the app is completely closed. But then again, it might just be the Holy Spirit. Anyway, let me know what do you think about the app. Is it a good idea? Isn't religion kind of against science and apps and augmented reality? Is Jesus happy about this? Yes. Leave a comment and let me know. Pixel 3 Double Notch The Pixel 3 didn't quite get off to a good start. I mean, it's like me at the gym. Five minutes in and I'm done. I'm wasted, kaput, trying to catch saints on my way to Jesus. First of all, it is much slower than the iPhone XS or the OnePlus 6 when it comes to memory management. Then it has poor audio quality in video recordings. Then the back scratches very easily. And now it has a very ironic bug. Some users of the Pixel 3 XL complain that the second virtual notch has appeared on the display play <laughs> wow that's what everyone expected from this phone another notch that's just as big as the first one. <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> yeah of course it's a software issue and it's probably fixed by the time i release this video but still pixel is made by google google makes android so the device that should work flawlessly on android should be the pixel But do you know what phone just came out that is much faster, much cheaper, and works really well on Android? OnePlus 6T. It's priced at $550 and has amazing specs. Just look. Just, just look. So Google, get your sh** together because this is ridiculous. The new Apple event. At the beginning of the week, Apple had an event and they announced the new MacBook Air, a Mac Mini, and a very promising iPad Pro. The new MacBook Air is even thinner and lighter than previous models. How the hell do you get thinner than this? And the price for the base model starts at $1200 and goes up to $2600. The small Apple PC, the Mac Mini, gets a big upgrade. And the base model with the 3.6 quad-core processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 SSD storage, and Intel's UHD graphics 630 costs $799. But if you want, you can get the 3.2 GHz 6-core processor, 64 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD storage, and the same graphic card at the price of $4200. Wow, that is a lot of money for a box this size that weighs only 1.3 kilograms. That's like $3.23 per gram. Hi, uh, can I get some uh, Mac Mini, please? Sure thing, we got the brand new Space Gray. How much? Well, uh, like 150 grams? Sure thing. 
And the new iPad Pro, which is my favorite of the bunch, comes in two sizes, 11 inch and 12.9 inch displays. With no home button, the sides resemble the iPhone 5, smaller bezels, Face ID, A12X Bionic chip with 8 core CPU and 7 core GPU. Wow! The new Apple Pencil with magnetic charging directly on the side of the tablet. And there's only one port to rule them all. USB-C. Apple making a convenient port that can connect to other devices? But does this mean that future iPhones will have USB-C ports? I can only pray for it. My child, you are wasting your time. The prices start at $800 for the base 11-inch model and goes up to $1900 for the 12.9-inch with 1TB of storage. It's a lot, but this might be the best and most powerful tablet out there. Actually, it is. Why the f*** is it that after every Apple keynote I watch, I fight the urge of buying one of their devices? They just make it sound so incredible that it's hard to resist. But then I check my wallet and think to myself, who the hell needs Apple? <laughs> this was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember, subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell. Share this with your friends. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe, fast, secure. Cheers. I'm gonna get you, St. Peter. I'm gonna get you. I'm... Oh, for f sake, you stupid f game. Useless piece of... F oh. May my dad bless you all. Game.